Right, welcome back, you table-eating weirdos. Today, we're looking at dudes taking L's. I was actually surprised at how popular this was. But, um, I mean, 186,000 people follow this account just to see dudes taking L's. And most of these posts just seem to be dudes getting rejected by girls or finding out they're getting cheated on. There is also a women taking L's Twitter page, and I checked that out. But a lot of the posts were just like, when he doesn't buy your OnlyFans. And it's like, wh why would I buy it? You look like a piece of cheese. Like, get out of here. I don't know. We're all about equality on this channel, but today <laughs> we're looking at dudes taking L's. I loved your playlist. Oh, really? I could always add more songs if you'd like. Yes, I fricked my friend to it. It was such a vibe. Oh, he. <laughs> I will add some more then. <laughs> This, this right here is absolutely tragic. Imagine your crush messaging you saying they loved your music playlist. <laughs> and you're just like, oh my god, this is amazing. They're into the same music I'm into. And they just drop this bombshell. Yeah, I fricked my friend who wasn't you to it. It was such a vibe. <laughs> I love how he just responds with, oh, he... <laughs> I will add some more then. Like, what's what's the image to go with this? Oh my god! It's a it's a Kermit the Frog <laughs> drinking bleach. <laughs> yeah, that's oh god. <laughs> that's exactly how you'd feel <laughs> if your if your crush was like, hey, love your music. Totally, totally got with someone else who wasn't you. <laughs> One guy is a guy living his best life with his friend just drowning in the background. Even when people ask about Steve, the man in question who's just drowning here, he responds, this ain't about him. <laughs> That's an L right there. I mean, just, just look at this dude's profile picture. He literally looks like he's disposing a body. Do you really think he cares about his boy Steve drowning in the background? No, he doesn't. But yeah, let's just... Let's just get right into this game of virgins. I want to see some dudes taking L's. So my grandpa ate half a quart of paint today thinking it was yogurt. Bruh, goddamn, there is no there is no way this is real. Are you honestly telling me that the first thing this person did instead of calling an ambulance or anything because he, you know he just ate half a tub of paint was to take a picture of his crusty lips? He, this guy doesn't even look like he knows where he is right now. Like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? How is this guy not dead? Surely if you were eating paint, the thickness would be enough to be like, yeah, this isn't yogurt. I mean, I hope he's okay. But the real question is, what's the toilet going to look like after consuming half a tub of paint? <laughs> Once I took a girl out and we were walking by a river in my city, so we took a picture together with the water behind us. She cropped me out of the picture and captioned it, much needed alone time. Well, that's it, fellas. If there was ever a time to pay respect to someone for taking an L and confirming they actually don't exist, it would be with this guy. Going out for a walk with someone only to be cropped out of the picture and the picture's captioned, much needed alone time. Oof, that is rough. Do you know what, thinking about it, I can just imagine what the awkward conversation would be if you ever brought that up to someone when they cropped you out of an image and they're just there like, yeah, I didn't really want to bring this up, but you actually look like a piece of cheese. If, I, if anyone ever said that to me, I'd happily just zip myself up in a bin bag and throw myself off the nearest cliff. I don't think that's too extreme. I think that's a, a pretty reasonable response. I mean, this one here is just absolutely tragic. Hey, could you come over and watch my dogs tonight? Sure, should I bring some food? No, haha, they have food. I meant for us. Oh no, like, can you watch my dogs? I'm going to dinner with a guy and might not be back. He just responds with, I see. Imagine thinking someone wants to hang out with you when they've asked if you can watch their dogs. They're obviously not going to be there. Imagine being such a horny cheese bandit. You don't see where this is going. Absolute fool. You look like my ex. Haha, <laughs> really? Why'd you break up? He got really ugly. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. This reminds me of the funniest thing. My friend uploaded a picture of himself with his shirt off. Just casual. Not really showing off anything. And, and <laughs> some, some girl commented on his picture. 
I love your confidence. I love your confidence. Like, bruh, it was just a normal picture. He had no insecurities or anything, and it was just a harmless shirtless pic. And so, so just, someone just commented saying, I love your confidence. That is just absolutely the, fun, the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, man, he took it on the chin, but my God, was it funny. About to do smash or pass. Hide your girl, fellas. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. Oh, boy. Oh, no, that is tragic. Only 7% said they would smash. 93% passed on him. I don't really get why people do this because you're leaving yourself wide open to this happening. But hey, 7% said yes. That is better than 0%. Hey, how attractive am I? 93% said no bueno. That's rough, buddy. Oh boy, I, I have seen this one. This one is, this one is just tragic. This is someone who took a a genuine L. Some I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a background as to what is going on here. Someone posts an unfortunate picture of their dog, Uno, cremated in a little box. I mean, all the signs are there, you know, finally bringing you home, bud. And some fool, some major league L player fool, slides into the Snapchat DMs, rest in peace, Snapchat, because that app sucks, and he says, damn, we need to play. And... <laughs> You know, only to be hit with the response of, this is literally my dead dog. Your boy thought this was a board game Uno. And as if anyone would be sad to bring home a game of Uno. I mean, people really don't seem to read what they're actually looking at before they respond. We've got a pretty awkward one here. You've got a post here of someone who offers a free photo shoot because, you know, Someone's taken an interest in their hobby, and that's pretty cool. You know, it's nice when people people take an interest in what you're passionate about. And they turn around, take them up on their offer, but then say, you know, thanks. I'll bring my boyfriend along. So basically, you're now stuck in this awkward situation where you maybe wanted to have one-on-one -on -one with this individual, but now you're taking three pictures, a couple's photo shoot even, of these people just together. And obviously, the pictures, <laughs> they just came out like this. I took like 40 of these pics for them, man. It's, Jesus, I mean, what would you guys do if your crush asked you to take a picture of them and then they just brought their partner in? So you're just there taking pictures of your crush, kissing their partner. Feels bad, man. I mean, that just must be so awkward. Someone admiring your hobby or passion, in this case, it's photography, and you offer to do a photo shoot and then you're just stuck there taking pictures of this couple, possibly your crush just kissing someone else. Yeah, I can imagine this is what he probably looked like. <laughs> Right, that is going to be enough of dudes taking L's today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. I hope you have a fantastic day and don't take any L's like these dudes. I'll see you gamer virgins next time.